Happy New Year, everybody. It is 2018, and for the third year in a row, we are doing yet another collection update here on New Year's. This same camera, this same house that I'm in right now, and some of these figures even were featured in the first ever uh, collection update that I did as a New Year's tradition. It's something I've always done and will continue to do uh, so long as I'm alive. Of course, this year we got a lot of new figures uh, that I can't wait to show you. A lot of new customs specifically that I haven't shown in a while that I'm excited uh, to show off. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's do that right now. Let's start things off with a figure I know everybody loves, and that is El Torito. Do you guys remember this guy? I mean, it wasn't that long ago, but I feel like he is so forgotten, and I figure we start off with him because why not start things off with one of the better figures in my collection. Next up, we have these custom Young Bucks that were made by Jesus. These are my second pair of Young Bucks that I got, and the first pair, I haven't shown these in a while, which were made by Burnout Inc. One of the first few customs he made me in their Bullet Club attire uh, are awesome. I got these so long ago, so it's nice to show them off again. I don't really show off my, my old customs, but then we have this custom, another custom Jesus made me, uh, Blue Neville, which I know uh, Venomine, who's probably watching this, loves this figure, and I always tease him about it because he, he asks for it a lot, you know, as a joke, uh, and I always tell him I'm never going to give it to him, and that's going to continue because I love that. Uh, and we have another Neville, which is actually Venomine, it's least favorite wrestler, if you guys didn't know, but this is the newer one. I actually found one of his armbands, only one of them, so it looks kind of awkward, but there you go. I still do have it. Uh, here we have a custom Elite Kurt Angle. This is another older one that I made using the Jack Swagger uh, WrestleMania 26 Elite. Uh, here we have another custom Hideo Itami right here. That's another older one I got a while ago, but it was repainted. Uh, here we've got the Legends Eddie Guerrero fix-up. Uh, Aiden English right here. The newer Entrance Greats Kurt Angle figure. Here we've got a Fix Up Elite 20 Y2J with the newer style head scan. Here we've got some Daniel Bryan figures. You might notice some of these figures uh, are going to be bundled together as the same wrestlers because I tried organizing them. Some of them are scattered though, just like Ric Flair. I've got them sort of all over. Here we've got a custom El Generico. This is another older one that i got to get retouched up again. Uh, here we have some more Chris Jericho figures right over here. Yet another Chris Jericho, the Elite Four, I believe. Uh, here we have a basic Neville, one of the first ones, I believe, in his purple attire, not the NXT one. Uh, here we've got the Rock. Here is Blue Tista. Over here, well, I mean, it's not a Mattel figure, but we've got the Marvel Kurt Angle. A uh, bunch of Mick Foley figures, well, also Kane, who I accidentally grabbed, but there's Kane. And just a bunch of Mick Foley figures over here. We've got Cactus Jack, uh, Mankind version 1, and then Mankind version 2 right over there. Uh, next up, we have some more Canes. As you guys know, one of my favorite figures, if not uh, my favorite figure that I own, is this Elite 12 Kane. It just always stands out to me whenever I think of figures. I think of this guy and how much I wanted it when I originally got it. So uh, there's the Elite 12 Kane, easily one of my favorites. And another one of my favorites is the Hardcore Kane, which is another really, really great figure. Here's another older figure that I haven't shown in a while, this, and it's still in fairly good condition. The Shawn Michaels uh, SummerSlam 2005 custom that Burnout Inc. made me. Oh, I got this so long ago, and I even remember. He still has a review up on his channel if you guys want to see it. Uh, absolutely love this, one of my favorite customs. Next up, we have Paul Heyman. I'm going to be repeating myself a lot, by the way, in case you guys didn't know. We've got Batista. Right over here, that basic. Another Y2J right over there. Here is Sheamus. Uh, we've got Shawn Michaels. It's funny, I kind of was organizing my Shawn Michaels, and then I realized I had more, so probably later in the video, you'll see a bunch of Shawn Michaels just gathered together. Here we've got my Elite 7 Triple H fix-up. I still need to get that Walgreens one. I haven't even looked at it. Uh, another Triple H. More modern day. Triple H, uh, here we've got Devon Dudley, I have the Elites coming up in a little bit, here we've got Bubba to match, and here we've got Batista over here, a uh, bunch of Kevin Owens coming up, here's the basic, this is I believe one of the first ones I got if I am correct, 
I know this one with the fight owns fight is the more recent version and then uh, the only elite that I have I really need another elite I, I this one is not in the best of condition been looking at that one for a while here we have the elite 23 Cesaro here is a another Seamus uh, we've got three, well, we have a bunch of New Day figures over here. They're all in the same attire. Some elites, some basic. Kofi, Xavier, Big E, all of them right over there, the New Day. And we have a bunch of those coming up as well. Uh, here we have a basic Cesaro. Another one of my favorites, the Elite 7 Tyson Kid, one of my most sought-out figures uh, of all time. Then we have Tully and Arn, the Brain Busters here, uh, elite versions. I've made some customs out of those in the years past. Oh, we've got DDP right over here. Love this head scan. Too bad it doesn't fit well on some of the elites. Customly Jeff Hardy made from Jesus in the red. Uh, here we've got another biggie. Here we have a basic Tyson kid from the Cesaro 2 pack if I am correct. Uh, IRS right over here. Jimmy Hart. Alberto Del Rio, this is the messed up one that I have. I have a better version right here, which I actually way prefer. And and what happened to him? I, I really haven't been keeping up. I don't think he's in TNA anymore. Is he doing anything? I'm, I'm really not sure. I gotta catch up on that. Uh, we've got AJ Lee right over here. Really miss her. Hope she comes back eventually. Uh, Lana. Bada boom. Uh, here is The Rock. This is from, like, what, 47.5 if I am correct? Really do like this figure. Not the most colorful attire, but still. Next up, we have Stone Cold Basic uh, from WrestleMania 32 with his just giant-ass arms that you know he's never had throughout his whole entire career. Uh, this is the Elite 36 Bray Wyatt. Still need to get that new one. It looks really good. Uh, fix Up Original Defining Moments Ric Flair. Do you guys remember when uh, the Ric Flair was leaked, the original Defining Moments, because Defining Moments, before it came back, was gone for a while. And I actually remember uh, it leaked on Facebook, that old Facebook group I was part of. Uh, if anybody's still in there, WFF, I haven't even, uh, I haven't been in that so long. But I remember it leaked uh, in that group, I believe, or maybe it was on the forums, that uh, Defining Moments Ric Flair was coming out. Nobody believed it. There were a bunch of prototype images. Everyone was hyped, and then, of course, eventually we got it. Uh, here is Vince McMahon. He actually was this jacked, and of course, for all natural reasons. Another Vince McMahon, this time in the suit, a more business version of Vince. Here we have a throwback Christian Basic. Another Christian Elite. This one, the Elite 20 throwback, and to go along with him, of course, we have Edge, which is awesome. And I have all my other edges at the bottom on my next pile, so we'll probably see that towards the end of the video. Here we've got Gold Dust, Darren Young. That's kind of ironic that it's Gold Dust and then Darren Young. Oh God. Uh, here is uh, uh, Rocky Maivia. I just posted about this in my story, but for those who didn't know, I actually won this figure from Burnout Inc. in a figure review contest and was the first time uh, I sort of got like any shout out from like a bigger YouTuber. It was the first time I really got like a big shout out or any kind of recognition from a sort of big YouTuber which is Burnout Inc. So I always thank him for that. It, it really uh, set the path for me on, on YouTube. Uh, here we've got Bam Bam Bigelow. I have the other one as well. This one is way more beat up and the head chips a bunch. Uh, we have another Christian fix up right here. Here we've got Sergeant Slaughter. And speaking of Shawn Michaels, like I mentioned, I even have more coming up later, but we've got three. We've got the Defining Moments, the Ringside Exclusive, and then, what is this, the Toys R Us Exclusive. There's all three of those. Uh, we've got a few Cesaros over here, the Elite 33, and then the newer one, which I don't really like that much, but still. Uh, here we have uh, Dean Ambrose, which... I'm really sorry to hear what happened to him. His most recent injury got the SmackDown Live, Shield, another Shield, and then a Jeans version. Uh, it really sucks to hear about his injury because he had been going for so long without taking a break. No injuries, no nothing. So uh, he is going to miss WrestleMania if I am correct, and, and that just really sucks because he doesn't deserve it. Uh, here we've got Sasha Banks. The Big Show, 2005 custom slash fix-up. We'll throw him over there. Another 2005 or 6 uh, cane that goes really well with that big show. Love this cane. Uh, here we've got some more Daniel Bryan figures right over here. Fix up uh, on this one with the 
shorter hair and then just some random basics that I don't uh, really care about that much. Uh, here we've got Roman Reigns, which surprisingly I actually own quite a few Roman Reigns figures, maybe uh, more than I should. Uh, here's another one, and then we got another one right over here, so maybe more than I should own. But then we have Stephanie McMahon. Wait, I swear I have, yeah, there's another Roman Reigns right here, so uh, you caught me. I do like Roman Reigns, all right? Here we have The Rock with the Just Bring It and the, well, I mean, I think it's supposed to be sweatpants, but it doesn't come across like that in figure form. Then we've got Tyler Breeze. I'm missing his boot thingies. I have no idea where they are, but this Breeze is still really nice, and I hope they make that into an Elite, although that's never going to happen. It's way past that. We've got Sin Cara over here and Daniel Bryan, and then we actually have another Sin Cara on them. Oh, well, it would only make sense for the only figure to fall in this video to be Sin Cara. Another one, which is at the top of this other pile right over here. Uh, here you got the Monster Amongst Men, Braun Strowman. Macho Man Randy Savage. I think this is the only one that I own. I could have sworn I own more. I mean, I used to own the ringside exclusive NWO version, the original one, but that is very much long gone. Here we have Epico and Primo. Brock Lesnar, who uh, is our Universal Champion, believe it or not. Sometimes I forget it, but you know what? It's a thing. Uh, it's Rusev Day, of course. Here is Rusev. It's not New Year's, it's Rusev Day. Uh, here we got Scott Hall, Sami Zayn. Should I try to go faster on these? I don't know. I, I really don't want to rush it, but here you've got the Ultimate Warrior. That's probably the only one I own. Uh, Stephanie McMahon. Here is a footless Zeb Coulter. You guys still remember him? Uh, here we've got Wade Barrett. Uh, if you're wondering why the right arm is so messed up, uh, the guy I bought it from, I think he sharpied or, or markered his lower right form to give him the sleeve that he used to have, and well over time, not even just from me playing it, from even being on my bin, it just scratched it off so easily, so that's why that is that way. Here we have Undertaker, and I've got a bunch of Undertakers coming up as well. Uh, then we have X-Pac and Natalia. Also, Will Ospreay. Now I'm just going to have to move this bin next to me so I can get the uh, the duplicates that I have. Okay, before we get into most of my duplicates, uh, I have another Daniel Bryan that fell down and Yoshitatsu, so we had to get those out of the way. All right, here are the John Cena's, and we do have a lot of them. Here is John Cena, number one in the black and white. Here is yet another basic John Cena. Here we've got a purple John Cena. Uh, the one from 2012, these armbands. Yeah, that one. I don't know what to really call that. Uh, another throwback this is a basic John Cena. <clears throat> John Cena in the red. This is the Elite 37, if I am correct, but it's missing an armband. This is probably one of my favorites. A fix up to match his, uh, what, 2015 look with the red, uh, white, and blue. Or is that 2016? I don't even know. Uh, here we've got a green basic Cena, a red basic Cena. Uh, another elite red one and is this the last one a, a green elite is this the elite 20 or something i don't know but not the elite 20 that's not it but there you go those are uh, a lot of john cena's over there how about seth rollins you guys like seth rollins here is a shield seth rollins here is the SummerSlam seth rollins with the fix up on the head scan here is yet another SummerSlam seth rollins another fix up uh, swap the heads uh, here's the basic version of that SummerSlam Rollins. Uh, here is, is this the last one? The NXT one with the, the legs I swapped that are messed up. There he is. Uh, I thought I had more. Maybe I have more coming up, but uh, now let's get into Undertaker, and we do have a lot of Undertakers. There's one right there. Here is a, another with the, when he faced Brock, like the, around that time period. Uh, the original uh, San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. I actually remember trading a lot for this, and then they announced that they were remaking it, so that was great. Here's Undertaker in the purple, but I way prefer this fix-up that I did a while ago with the entrance grades parts, I believe. I just think this head skin is absolutely amazing. Always love that figure. Uh, we've got some more Undertakers right over here, defining moments. Here is the... Crap, I always forget this. Is this the WrestleMania 31 version? I, I could be wrong on that one. I think I am. Uh, and then there is the final. Oh, no, we have some more Undertakers. Here is a handless Undertaker. I don't know if that counts, but he's still there. 
And then we have uh, this one right here in the American Badass look, which again, I still need to get that new one and swap this head scan onto it. Let's go ahead and make some room over here for the upcoming duplicates. You know, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure CM Punk is who I have the most of. Here we have the WrestleMania 29 CM Punk. Here we've got the custom elite that Cody made me, Team Rated CDS, made me this for free actually, I remember that, that was uh, really funny. Uh -huh. Here we've got the Macho CM Punk that Burnout Inc. made me, just an absolute beauty, easily one of my favorites, I'm actually going to put that to the side, that might be in the thumbnail. Uh, here we've got the WrestleMania 28, if I am correct, CM Punk. Here we've got another custom, this is in the pink and white, also black. CM Punk with the SES, or sorry, the uh, Battle Pack 7 head scan. Uh, another custom CM Punk, this one in the red. Here is the Elite 16 fix up with the Elite 29 head scan. Uh, here is, is this the basic version of this? I think it is. I never really even realized that, I don't think, but there we go. We got an Elite and a custom Elite version of that basic. Uh, this is uh, another CM Punk. BW Figs gave me this for my birthday. We'll never forget that. Uh, All Star CM Punk fix up with the SES head scan. Uh, another red CM Punk with the SES uh, hoodie or uh, vest, I should say, which is awesome. And then we have the Elite One. We have another Elite One. Not a fan of the head scan though, but that's just a, a fix up. Uh, then we have the basic of the Elite 16, but it's got the Elite 29 hoodie. And then the final CM Punk, if I am correct, is the ECW uh, fix-up that I did with the torso swap. So, that's a lot of CM Punks. Alright, now looking at it, CM Punk is definitely who I have the most of. But we got some Finn Balors over here. Here is a fix-up, non-painted, but it has the demon sort of parts all around it, which is really nice. Uh, here we've got the Punisher Custom Elite Finn Balor. Uh, the SummerSlam Finn Balor. Here we have the ringside exclusive Balor. Uh, this one's probably my favorite right here. The Dallas Takeover, if I am correct, version. And then you have the uh, Beast in the East one, which is also really awesome. But I wish they made this with the more updated head skin. Would have been absolutely perfect. And then we can get into my AJs, which now looking at it, I definitely have more CM Punks. But here we have the first Elite that was released right there. Uh, here we have my first ever custom one, if I am correct, from Burnout Inc. This is another older one. Hasn't held up as well as the uh, Wrestle, or excuse me, the SummerSlam 2005 Shawn Michaels, but still uh, hold that near and dear to my heart as I do with all of my customs. Another custom that I love, which was made by Jesus, uh, AJ in the white and black, which is beautiful. Hope we eventually get an actual elite of that. Here we've got the WrestleMania 33. Uh, AJ Styles, I have two of them, both of their shoulders are messed up, which I posted about on Instagram, I mean, do you guys see this? Look at this. Both of them are like that, it's really weird. I don't know why, but there you go. Uh, we have another AJ here in the red, this is a basic, which wasn't exclusive at one point, but then I think it's been really re-released like two times. Uh, another AJ. Of course, we have yet another AJ. Then, another AJ, custom elite right here. And then finally, the most recent one that I got, which is actually, are they elite versions of each other? I, I think they are. So this is really cool. Love these attires, like I said, in the recent uh, Christmas mail call. Love, love, love this, AJ. But that does it mainly for all the big duplicates. So we're going to get into the main pile, or not the main pile, but the first pile I constructed, uh, which I can actually show you guys the setup right here, is above my table right over here. So let's go ahead and get into these because it's a lot. Here we go with uh, the... First Jeff Hardy custom that I got from BW Figs uh, so long ago. I think this was part of one of our first trades, but there we go. Uh, we got that. Here we've got the Usos right over here. Oh, God, please don't fall. The Usos right over here, the newer ones, and then we have the uh, Elite 31 versions right over here, which was one of my first unboxings. I think that's unlisted right now or private just because... Uh, I'm not going to get into it, but there we go. Uh, so I hold those pretty close to my heart uh, for my YouTube channel's sake. Then we have matching with them the Hurricane Basic. Here we have Lita. Custom Bradshaw that I never ever finished, and I don't even know why I made that if I'm being completely honest. Here we have Sting. Here we've got two rocks right there. Santino Morella. Here we've got another sting. This one is absolutely messed up. The legs are so loose from the leg swap. And then William Regal right there. Uh, here we have two Rey Mysterio figures. 
Here we have a Heath Slater. Here is the one, two, three kit. I think this is still super cheap on Amazon. I remember picking it up for like maybe no less than like ten dollars or something. Here we have Asuka, and I really don't see like I love this Asuka attire, and I don't know if I'm gonna get that NXT one. I know the NXT one came out like a while ago, but I really just love this attire, and I, I don't even think I might even be getting a new one because I like it so much. Here we've got my referee, so that's a one of a kind gem right there. Here we have Hideo Itami. Another Braun Strowman Elite. Here we have the recently uh, relinquished United States Champion holder, Dolph Ziggler. I think that's my only Elite, which is weird, because I remember at one point having a bunch. Uh, everyone's favorite, Brodus Clay, who is now on Fox News, so the more you learn, right? Uh, here we have Stardust. Tyson Kidd. Here is Jason Jordan, or I'm sorry, Kurt Angle's son, along with Chad Gable, former American Alpha. Definitely miss those guys as his team, especially with what they're doing now. Uh, here we have Kurt Hawkins, 149-0, right? Or is he 150-0? I, I, I'm not sure. I know he has lost a lot, though. Uh, Matt Hardy, should have probably put him with Jeff. That, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, here we've got Bubba and Devon. The only Dudley Elites that we got, which sucks because they got released right when we got their figures, but nonetheless, they are still really cool. Would have liked to have seen throwback version of those. Here we have three Samoa Joe figures, and my Elite in the yellow is missing a hand. I picked it up, and it's missing a hand, so that sucks. So I'll have to swap one of the arms out, but there is Samoa Joe. Here we have Zack Ryder, recent fix-up that I did. Here we've got Ricardo Rodriguez, uh, one of my most sought out, the Elite 16 Kevin Nash. I wanted this figure for so long and I finally got it. Uh, probably one of my favorite figure memories is finally getting it and not paying like super duper 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 expensive. I don't know, that's not even a saying, I apologize for that. But nonetheless, Kevin Nash with a rattle as well, so free Morocco. Uh, next up, we have Bailey. She'll be making an appearance again soon. I do have that other one. Here we have the Here Comes the Pain Brock Lesnar. Uh, the leftover Zack Ryder fix up from that one right there, so it's a little weird. Here we have Dash Wilder. Of course, his partner in crime, Stone Cold Steve Austin, the revival. Just kidding, that would be Scott Dawson. Although Stone Cold and Dash Wilder, I think that's a team most people would want to see. Here we have the elite versions of American Alpha, which are awesome. Uh, Wade Barrett or Bad News Barrett, is that this one? Yeah, Bad News Barrett, who misses that? Uh, here we've got Rob Van Dam. Uh, Yoshi Tatsu. Venomine's favorite wrestler, especially in the blue, we've got Ryback. Everyone misses Ryback, don't you? Uh, God, the figures are falling, but uh, Paul Bear right over here. Here we've got the first ever Bray Wyatt, one of my favorite figure memories again. I was originally getting this figure and being so hyped. I remember I posted like eight pictures of it on my Instagram when I first got it. We've got Dean Malenko, I don't know why I like, completely blanked out on his name for a second. Uh, Kofi Kingston in the Orange New Day attire. So here we have Brian Pillman, Kalisto. Here we have the Legion of Doom, which was one of my first figure reviews on my channel, if I am correct. We've got Andre the Giant. Again, it is Rusev Day, so you got to have another Rusev in here, and he'll even make another appearance. Got Charlotte. Uh, Custom Elite Colt Cabana, again from Jesus with the Dusty Rhodes headband. And then speaking of Dusty Rhodes, you got him right here. I should probably put that headband back on him, if I'm being honest, though. Uh, we got the Boogeyman. Here we have Sasha Banks, the one that came with the Women's Championship. Uh, suited to Triple H, same one as my Vince, it's just really a head swap. Becky Lynch. Here we've got one ringside exclusive Nash, and then we have another ringside exclusive Nash, both with different head scans than the Shinsuke Nakamura. Here we've got Kofi Kingston, the Elite 27, a pretty weird fix up. And my custom Elite Austin Aries, which I still really do love. We've got a throwback Edge Basic with a terrible head scan. Nation of Domination Farouk. Here we've got Xavier Woods. 
should have put this alongside my other McFoley figures, but Cactus Jack right over here in the long tights rather than the sweatpants custom that I have. Then we have Umaga. A few more. We've got two Ric Flares right over here. Double Woo. Uh, Sami Zayn. Let me fix my lighting a little bit. That looks weird. Uh, Sting. Another Sting. The American version. Emma. Who I do miss. I think she was greatly underused uh, when she was on the main roster. Uh, Shelton Benjamin. Smackdown Live Zone. Uh, Luke Gallows. And that's a custom version alongside this custom. Carl Anderson, which I, of course, just got the new Elites. That one's in there. Uh, older attires here. We've got Diesel, which, again, just like my Elite 16 Kevin Nash. Free Maracas. It's got a rattle. Uh, here we have the Rhino figure, Elite, with the fix-up on the smaller arms. Because If you guys remember, the original one it came with, his arms were probably the biggest uh, Mattel arms I've ever seen. Ever. They were so big, it was unbelievable. Here we've got Bam Bam Bigelow. Uh, Adam Rose, who misses Adam Rose? I sure do not miss him because, well, Adam Rose is just weird. He really was. He really have Apollo Crews. Definitely <laughs> regret making this custom will be out of the Booker T figure. Where is the Apollo? I don't, I don't even know where he is. He might be coming up soon, but I do have him. Uh, here we've got Carlito. Here's Big Cass. Bray Wyatt. Fix up. I really need that new one. I haven't gotten a Bray Wyatt in so long. Here's Randy Orton. Damian Sandow. Lord Tensai. Or Albert. Or A-Train. Whatever you want to call him. Here he is. Apollo Crews. Boy. This was a mistake making that custom. I was just so impatient. I really wanted an Elite Apollo. So I made that. Here we have another JBL. Had that. Custom Bradshaw featured pretty recently. Uh, two more Randy Orton elites. I only have three Randy Orton figures, which is kind of weird because I love Orton, especially back in his heyday. Not so much now, but still. Uh, here's Enzo Amore. Continuing on here with the big boss man. Then we have another Sting figure. This is the Ringside Collectibles version, if I am correct. Uh, we've got Stone Cold Steve Austin. Here we've got one of my favorites of all time, RVD. Sad that that's the only elite that we got. Here we've got the New Day. Right there, their WrestleMania 32, right? Attires, that three-pack, the Budios three-pack. Let's make some more room here so I can show off uh, these figures properly. Here we've got Evan Bourne. We've got the other Bailey figure right over here. Everyone's favorite, the Great Kali. Here we've got Edge. We have a lot of Edges coming up, actually. Here's the Elite One. Here is the fix-up I got a while ago, or the custom, which is just absolutely awesome. Love that. And then yet another Edge, the Hall of Fame version, which, again, is really awesome. Uh, then we have my custom Elite. Let's hold them up. Abyss, which uh, was on, I believe, one of the first two episodes of Mail Call, if I am correct. So if you've seen that episode of Mail Call, or that Abyss, which was in one of the first two, honestly, uh, then you've been here a long, long time. Uh, here's Chavo. Probably should have put him with Eddie. Here we have The Miz. Baron Corbin. We're kind of winding down here. I say we have, like, maybe 20 or 30 left. Uh, Big John Stud. Here is TJ Per- you know what, that's not right. We gotta make this right. We gotta make this right. There you go. Well, I mean, I didn't really do it, but you, you, I'm not even gonna explain that. Uh, Road Dog right over here. Drew McIntyre, hope he gets well soon. Pretty sure he's still injured. Uh, we've got The Bunny. Of course, gotta have him. What's a collection without The Bunny? Another Elite 7 Tyson Kid. This is the older one that I have, the Fix Up. We have another Shawn Michaels right over here. Another fix up with the white wrist tape. And then yet another Shawn Michaels, the DX version, with another fix up with the arms, if I am correct. Uh, over here we have the last Rusev. Unfortunately, after this, it will no longer be Rusev Day as I have no more figures of him. Here we have DH Smith, Justin Gabriel, Bobby the Brain Heenan. Rest in peace, the late great. Uh, Brock Lesnar. I was saying Bobby Heenan was the late great, not the late great Brock Lesnar. Uh, Tyler Breeze. Do I not have a Fandango figure? I don't I don't think I have one anymore. Here's Scott Hall. I think I should get one. 
Uh, Terry Funk. Here is Paige. Just saw she was injured as well. Hope she gets better soon. Uh, Big E, the original Elite 26 one. This is another figure I was just super hyped for when it came out. Uh, Chris Jericho. I don't know what the hell that is. Don't don't look at it. Uh, Elite, uh, what is this, 20? 21? I, I completely forget. Cody Rhodes, but I love that figure. Really great to see all of the success Cody has had outside of WWE. Here we've got Tyson Kidd, the Elite 44. Always remember that, I think. Uh, Heath Slater. Oh my god, I completely lied. I just realized I do have another Rusev. It is still Rusev Day, believe it or not. There you go. I don't know how I had that. Uh, here is Simon Gotch. Man, we're really winding down here. I think we've only got like 10 left. Here is RVD. Shane McMahon number one. Shane McMahon number two. Shane McMahon number three. Here we've got the recent, uh, the most recent episode of Mail Call figures right here. The Club, Anderson, and Gallows. Man, we've, all, we've got like eight more, I think. Uh, here we've got Braun Strowman. Here is Goldberg. Hulk Hogan. Titus O'Neil. Here is Sting. Oh, I don't know who to end off with. We've got two more. I don't know who to end it with. Uh, okay. Uh, here we've got Alexa Bliss. Maybe I should have ended with her considering everyone loves her. And finally, we saved the best for last with this one, guys. The very own legend himself. One of the greatest of all time. Mr. Bo... Dallas, and I believe, oh, this is a good pun, wait for this, I believe we just finished this collection video, there they all are, uh, wow, that was a while, actually, Bo Dallas is not the last, here we have my NXT Rollins, which fell on the floor in my Rollins pile, so, yeah, I'm going back and adding this in, sorry, Bo Dallas, but let's, let's go back in time again, if you stayed through the end, uh, I don't know how you did it, but I very much thank you and salute you for your uh, service and staying through the whole thing. Or you just skip to the end to see what I'm going to say. That's fine either. Uh, if you enjoyed, though, leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let's hope 2018 is a good year. 2017 was bumpy, but uh, I am happy to say the least. So, again, if you enjoyed, leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't. Uh, stay tuned to next year's collection video. 2019 that just sounds weird but who knows maybe i'll have another bin considering well we're just about up to the top with this one again thank you for watching i appreciate all the support uh have a good year guys again happy holidays happy new year uh and stay tuned to the next one i'll see you guys later